Hey guys, I thought I'd give you a quick walkthrough of the Kingfisher plot here at Webb's. Uh, that's a, you know, a forage program that I've spent quite a bit of time with. A lot of you guys have been, uh, have been recommending it on a lot of your farms. So Kingfisher is not an actual uh, breeding program, but they uh, do research. It's three companies that kind of got together and they're doing research uh, around uh, premium forages coming from three or four different breeding programs. And I thought I'd just walk through and show you the stuff I like and what I don't like. So, so we'll start here. This is way early, 84-day uh, corn. Uh, actually, this thing has all kinds of upside. And some of you guys planted it for really early silage. Uh, I have some in Michigan that's came off already. Uh, it was out at the Cornell plots, and it just blew it away for grain last year in the in the New England states. So kind of excited about this corn for, you know, far northern uh, climates, you know, certainly not as big as what you'd expect with longer maturity corn. Uh, 34 5 c 10 is one not using as much anymore, but use this once again as an 85 day uh, in a early silage, not so much for grain. Over here, we have 34 this is a, a 95 day and the research data looks amazing uh 60 some percent ndfd 30 but it's not my kind of corn to me it doesn't have enough uh, stock expansion um, these are all planted at uh, 28.5 uh 93 day uh working with this in north central wisconsin and also uh, in New York uh, looks pretty good um, here not as excited about it so in northeastern Wisconsin I think there's better hybrids uh, to be using here uh, look at this 52 C20 won the forage Super Bowl in 2018 just an incredible incredible corn this is one that we're using in the better than BMR system at the low populations Look at that hybrid. Look at the leaf structure. Amazing stuff. 49C60, don't care for this corn. Or, uh, I'm sorry, 52C60. 49C60, on the other hand, is one that I'm using an awful lot. And we're taking this one on the, really, on the low population as well. It's a 99 day. Look at that corn really really nice corn uh 51 c10 a 50 not real crazy about this corn i mean i think i don't know you'd be disappointed but it just doesn't look the way i want it to so when i look at corn i'm looking for stuff that has way more stock structure like this versus this it's taller thinner a decent consistent ear set but really doesn't have the expansion like this 57 t81 this is one of my favorite corns right here. 107 day. And then also, and this is probably our favorite corn. This is the 54 C10. Uh, just got some, getting some really good stuff out of Wisconsin, New York, Michigan, Minnesota, South Dakota. Just all across, my guys have been happy with this. So um, by far the most popular corn. Uh, that I have been recommending in the upper edges of things. Okay, uh, a couple more that I'm not really working with. Here's that new BMR. Here's the, it's about 107 day, once again. Just big, huge. And look at these tops here. Very, very consistent year set for a BMR. 